Hi, my name is John Skippy Limcool. Welcome. This is a beginner's video tutorial on installing libraries into Omnisphere 2.5. Um, I have erased all libraries that are third-party libraries. If you go to user directories, it's empty. This is just like if you were to install Omnisphere freshly onto your computer, it would look like this. All the places where there's bonus presets, there's none except for just the ones that come with uh, Omnisphere, right? So we're going to go from ground zero to hero <laughs> um, with installing a library and a library which includes the bonus presets, the samples, uh, everything, okay? So first off, Apple conveniently made it so you can't see disk icons on your computer. So if that's the case, you can go clicking on your finder. So it says finder up here and go to preferences and turn on external hard drives and hard disks. That way, if you have computer hard drives hooked up to your computer, they will show up like they're supposed to <laughs> right here. Let's get this all lined up so it's nice. Um, so you have these to navigate to. So now you can open this and you can go to downloads, which is where if you've bought a library, it will download to this folder. And so you double click to unzip it. This is very similar to what you do on a PC. So you now have a folder, and as you can see, it's got the bonus presets, a readme, which has these information with pictures that you can study. Um, the bonus presets are here. This library contains loops. And if you have Stylus RMX, make sure you install the Rex 1.7 Rex library. This is what is required from propeller heads. Um, I'll put a link in the video description for that. Okay, so this is what we're gonna install into Omnisphere to start with. And this is an automatic install, which means you just go to Omnisphere. You go down here to where it says install.omnisphere under the utility button. It says, be careful. Don't do this if it's a pirated software. Don't, don't pirate software. Please be a legit buyer. And you say, okay, go to downloads, open up the beautifully broken. And right there is the .omnisphere file. And you just say open. And it says, hey, this has 15 multis, 129 patches, and 27 sound sources, and sounds awesome. Do you want to install these? Yes. So you say yes. It will go through the process in the background. You get a message, and it always pops up behind the window, so you have to go like this and say, okay, because this is a, I think this is a floating window in Omnisphere, so it's behind floating windows. So once you've done that, it's ready to work. So all you do is you go down here when you click in the, if you've got number one selected, you can be on patches. Click right here and you'll see beautifully broken. And it's ready to go. You can go here to uh, all the drum loops, the dirty springy versions, ready to use. If you hit the multi button, this is how you choose multis. Multis will load up all eight slots with patches and can even map them across the keyboard and do all sorts of really cool things. This is where the fun live jams that I show in the videos are. And here they are. There's 15 to choose from. So if you say, always have hope, five, and when I play low C, that triggers the drum loop, and then there's a bass, and then above, it's play. have the four controllers right so now you've got the library loaded but we haven't loaded any of the bonus presets that is a separate thing that requires you to install them manually back in the day when Omnisphere was version one you had to install the actual library of patches and multis manually but they have with version two they added the install Omnisphere option so if we want to do now to be clear this adds functionality to arpeggiator presets so down at the bottom of the list there's going to be all these cool presets that show up um, but if you don't program you don't need to do this this is to add additional functionality when you're programming and editing patches which if you've watched there's 200 videos plus here to watch and learn from so hopefully you are doing this and you want these but if you don't it's okay if you don't load them um, it's, it's not a prerequisite. This is an, a bonus thing. So what you do, go back to the downloads folder 
and open this up and here's your bonus presets right here guru bonus i'm actually gonna probably rename it i haven't sent this online yet so i'm gonna actually name this uh, guru bonus presets you're seeing the final build being built <laughs> so if you open this you'll see you've got a readme and you've got the five different folders these will go into specific places now where is that location the steam folder you can hit the Spectrosonics logo and you can hit Diagnostics. And it will do a quick calculation of all the patches and everything. There's sound sources. There's over 8,600 patches, uh, the total size. At the bottom of this, it says the Steam folder is, and I'll save the location. And what I have done, I have gone to, let me do this. You can't see everything on this folder, but if I go to here, to sample mass, uh, into sample libraries. Okay, inside of here, I have all of my sample libraries for everything that I own. Spectrosonics has a folder here, and here is your Steam folder. If you want, you can click and drag to put this over here as a preset. So when I need to get to the Steam folder, I just go down here and I find Steam and I click it, and I'm there. Um, if you don't, again, if you don't program, if you don't get around on the computer finder and do this, you don't have to do this. These are just added shortcuts for power users, okay? Now, open Omnisphere, open the Settings Library, and if you're on a PC or a Mac, these folders look the same. So once you get to this point, these instructions are the same. You open up Presets, and inside here is a User folder, and then you have Arpeggiator, Envelope, Effects, all these different things, right? So now we go back to this folder that has these presets. The stacks, you just drag over here to stacks and put them in here. Granular, you just put this into the granularity folder. The effects racks need to go inside of the effects and then you scroll down to where you see racks right here. Effects racks goes into racks. And then let's go back out and the envelopes go into the envelope folder. The arpeggiator, the Guru Arp goes into the arpeggiator folder. So by doing those steps, I have now placed the five different folders into Omnisphere. And if I have Omnisphere go away, and then I reinstigate a new Omnisphere on that same track, it should look to those folders this back place where it's supposed to be close this up like that so it looks nice if i now go to oh let's say arps and i click right here at the bottom of the list it says plugin guru arps and if i go here you can see there's all these different arps play it plays a chord if i go to the ones that say arp um, but there's a ton of them to choose from some have long short notes. If you go to the melody, these are art patterns that actually have transposing. I'm playing one note and it's playing a melody. That's why they're called melody, okay? If you go to the envelopes and you hit right here, you have the ability to choose plug and groove envelopes down here from this little triangle. There's basic shapes to do filter sweeps, the snappy pulse things that I like to do to the the attacks are right here. Rhythmic are rhythmic based and side chain. These are all the side chain pulsey things that came with Del Norte EDM. They're now included inside of the bonus presets. If you go to the effects page, all of these effects have the same layout, which means right here, you can choose what's called a rack. And what this does is it allows you to, let's, this is for the global, so I'd go to the mix page and you could use just the standard compressor limiter, and this would give you just a nice little bump to the audio quality. Okay. Um, the auxiliary is where you would go to these effects racks and choose the auxiliary presets, like huge splash verb or right, left, right, delay, slap with easy verb. So this means that when you go to this comment page, here's your auxiliary send. And it rings out. If I want, I can also go to the auxiliary sin on each of the four layers and assign it here. 
This way, layer A could have reverb and B, C, D layers don't have the reverb because you're using this auxiliary bus just for that one layer, which is really nice. So there's uh, granularity is found right here. And you click, and here's the granularity presets. Uh, these are the ones that were used. The drum looper and looper are the ones used to turn wave file drum loops into something that you can control by, you need to go to position, put this to the beginning, right click and modulate this with an LFO, and then do some settings here. Watch the videos or use the library and copy the settings from Airway Volume 3 loops or from Beautifully Broken. Those are the two libraries currently that have drum loops in them. More will come in the future because it's really cool. Um, and finally, the last thing, if you're in multi-mode and you want to set up and do something like what, what we're doing with the basses and the drums and the melodies, you want to go to stack mode, turn it on, and then go to the Guru Stacks. And this Beautifully Broken, this allows you to set up. Let's do this really quick. If we go over here and we hit 1, this is for part 1, which is the, the very bottom of the range, right? It's right here. So we go 1. If we go beautifully broken and go down to the drum yes. grooves, you have to go here and transpose it up two octaves because you're playing two octaves lower. So just transpose it up two octaves and now you're there. Go to multi-mode, go to the live button and turn on latch. So when I play a note, now it plays and it keeps playing. So I can go to part two, I could choose a bass. And it's already knowing because I created a stack preset where these go. And then right here is one for the right hand. So go to part three. Let's say we go to maybe one of the cool chord things. So let's go to these chords, Canadian Rockies. Now you want to go to the multi page to mixer. Turn this down. Maybe turn down the groove. We want to go to the effects, to the master effects. This is the master effects for all patches. Go over here to the libraries and to mix. And let's just use the standard compressor limiter. Just pumps it up a little bit. I typically turn down the output to like minus three dB or so to start with for everything. So. And if you're following the beautifully broken model, then part four is for an effect sound for the very top range of the keyboard. So go down here to the effects and she was like falling through a wormhole. So I've made my own badass multi by using a stack preset and then just changing patches, realizing the order is drum loop is one, Bass is two, chords, or I could say guitars. And again, I'm playing in G minor. Like I said, this labor is just dying to be played in G minor, I guess. Anyway, so that shows you how and where they are, and even a little bonus on how to make your own multis. What's fun with this is once you start buying Plugin Guru libraries and you go here, all of these libraries have all these different sounds that are easy to find by categories. They say chord, effects, bass. You can use this split template and set it up so that you're jamming in no time. Take that part there, that's part three. Go to another library, go searching through all the patches and find what you want. You can start making, when you get something you like, go save and save it to my category and say, happy split. And you, you could go over here to author and hit plus and put your name in so that now you're a programmer inside of your own Omnisphere and hit save. And when you go to multis and you go and search right here to user, happy split. That's how it works. So you can make and save multis to have all sorts of cool jams to play with in no time. All of the libraries give you a whole different 
it, what's, what's great with Plugin Guru libraries is each one will reprogram the synth to be a, a different presentation. So instead of having to go out and buy more synthesizers, just buy a new library and you've reinvented your synthesizer to now be playing a violin orchestra or violas or, you know, chill or, you know, toxic zebra to rip your head off. I mean, they're really fun to use. So I hope this helps. Thank you for your support. I truly, sincerely appreciate your business. And um, keep making music. Okay. See you later. Bye.